Hey you guys, happy Memorial, it's Rockin' Roberta. Today I just wanted to wish you all a very happy Memorial Day weekend, and I hope that you were able to get the much needed rest you needed this weekend, are able to barbecue and hang out with friends and family and do all that good stuff. Memorial Day is a very personal day for me. Um, I do a lot of reflection and a lot of thinking on days like today for various reasons. I never really talk about my mil military experience on this channel. Um, I think those who have been in the military, especially during wartime, kind of get it. Um, it's something that is very personal and kind of hard to talk about sometimes. Um, it's a lifestyle that most people would not even understand, so why even bother talking about it? Um, but I just wanted to share with you guys today an experience that I had in Iraq uh, back in 2005. And I'm not sharing this with you so that you will feel sorry for me or thank me for my service or anything like that because Memorial Day is a special day that we pay tribute to those, the fallen, the ones who paid the ultimate sacrifice, the men and women who paid the ultimate sacrifice so that we could enjoy days like today, have the day off, enjoy our family, enjoy our friends, enjoy our rest time. It is not for the living veterans, it is for the ones who have passed during, during their service time. So I wanted to pay tribute to a army sergeant by the name of Brad A. Mentz. He died on May 20th, 2005. I was actually a witness to it, and uh, I'll just go ahead and kind of explain what happened to you. I actually wrote some of it down. I've been emailing and texting all my veteran friends, um, sharing this experience with them, because that's kind of what I do on Memorial, and um, I think other veterans just kind of get that melancholy feeling of uh, situations that have occurred, you know, with their military experience. Get a little sip of coffee here. So I'm actually writing to one of my, my veteran friends. He was in uh, Vietnam. He sent me a little note that said Happy Memorial Day and he had a lot of friends die back in Vietnam. And I wanted to share my stuff with him. To, so I said, today I think about Sergeant Brad A. Wentz. He died on May 20th, 2005 on my birthday, as a matter of fact. I was on a fuel transport convoy mission pulling gun security. I was the convoy commander's gunner. The convoy commander decided to halt at, and had a gut feeling. There was no reason for it. We stopped in the middle of a little town by the name of Taji, Iraq. It was a hell town and almost every mission we would be on, we would either get shot at, shot at or hit by IEDs. And a lot of times we had to pass through this town because it was the first town out of where we were going. So, I mean, it was just a violent town. And like getting shot at back then really was not, it was nothing. We, me, <laughs> um, I was mostly worried about the IEDs because as a, a gunner, my head was exposed. Um, and uh, it was not a good place to stop, but nonetheless, we did. It was about 2 a.m. in the morning. We were all tired, hungry, and pissed off. Why in the hell were we stopping? We were in the middle of a main strip on the town. It was quiet and eerie. All of a sudden, the prayer music starting to started to play over the town's intercon system. So in Iraq, um, they're Muslim, and they have a big, most towns have a big intercon system, and they will send out the prayer over the system or they do the, the singing. Um, and it always sound really eerie to me and especially being at a halt at 2 a.m. all alone, our convoy, there's like, you know, however many trucks, a lot of trucks and we're just stopped in the middle of this town. All of a sudden, you know, this is not a normal prayer time for them, but you hear, oh, yeah, 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 you know, and it, it was just, it really, it was loud and it really creeped me out. Um, about 20 minutes after the halt, the 180th Transportation Company was driving by us in the opposite direction. All of a sudden, there was a huge explosion. One of their trucks blew up. I witnessed Sergeant Mintz and a female soldier jump out of the burning truck. He was running for his life, and the truck from his convoy behind him ran, ran him over and kept going. So they were in a convoy. He's in the middle of it. He gets hit by an IED. He, they both jump out of the truck running for their life like he was gonna live. And then his man 
hit him and the convoy behind him just kept going. So his, his, they left him behind. Um, he was running for the, for his life from the truck and the convoy behind, behind him and the truck behind him ran over and kept going. All the trucks behind him kept going. The convoy was gone. The female soldier was running around in circles. She was going mad. At first, I remember seeing her trying to get up the fire extinguisher off the truck and she was just like, it was just a crazy situation. I don't think she saw Sergeant Mentz and then all of a sudden it was just so chaotic and she just started running around in circles. Um, like I said, I don't think she saw him, but she did do what she was trying to do. She, she was trying to put that fire out with that fire extinguisher. It was our team that jumped out to provide aid, all the while being shot at. They got Sergeant Mintz onto the top of a Humvee. They tried to put an IV in his arm, but the veins were collapsed. Not soon after, they are, not soon after an RPG went, oh, went off over our convoy, I almost pissed my pants. It was loud, tremendous, and horrifying. My convoy commander made me take cover and sit down in a turret and to cover my head. One of our gun trucks followed the Humvee with Sergeant Mintz on the top with another soldier. It was a 20 minute ride in the opposite direction to the hospital. This was a huge risk for our team to go alone like that because our convoys um, would usually have massive amounts of trucks. I'm not gonna say how many because it's a sec for security issues, but we would have massive amounts of trucks. We wouldn't go out in convoys with just you know two or three people. I pulled security, I was a gunner. I, had, I was a truck driver, that was my job in the military. I drove fuel, fuel trucks, but when I got out to Iraq, they threw me up on a gun. I don't know, they wanted to prove a point or something. Oh, we need a female gunner. I had no idea I was gonna be a gunner until I got out to Iraq. Um, so, one of our gun trucks followed him. Okay, it was a 20 minute ride in the opposite direction. That was a huge risk for our team to go alone like that. We got the hell out of there and finally, finally, and discovered that later Sergeant Mintz died on the way to the hospital. I often think about the female that was with him. I wonder how she is today. I wonder if she's okay. I think about the family of the 21-year-old Sergeant Mintz. I think about how they must be feeling on days like today. You know, and that's the thing, like, there's a lot of people that really suffer on Memorial Day. My grandfather, he was in the Battle of Okinawa and back in World War II, and he was my favorite person. He was also my father, he raised me. And on Memorial Day, my dad did not drink, but on Memorial Day, he would sit down with a bottle of scotch and he would drink it and he would cry and cry and cry and cry. You know, and I, I witnessed my dad, the only time I witnessed my dad drinking was on Memorial Day and he would get drunk and cry, you know. And so he lost a lot of people. I know a lot of uh, veterans um, that I've talked to in the last few days that have lost comrades and you know, families and stuff like that. It's just a hard time. I think about Ryan Donnelly today, you know, who's in the military and he lost buddies to the war. And it's just a really hard time for people, you know. And like I said, I'm not making this video to get any sympathy for me. I chose to join the military. I chose to go to war, you know. Um, and it, it's a part of it. When you decide to take that oath, that's that's what you're you're raising your right hand to do, you know, is, is to serve and protect. And so it's part of it, you know. I just, I really feel for those people. You know, I, I wonder how that girl's doing today. I wish I knew her name and I wish I could, was, would be able to get a hold of her. But anyway, there's so many more stories, you guys, but this is just one of them that really sticks out in my head. Um, Happy Memorial Day and just sending love to all of the families and friends out there to um, who have shared lives with the fallen heroes. So please tell, say hello in the comments. Let me know if you have any uh, members of your family in the military or if you're in the military. Also, has anybody seen Mr. Booch around? Um, days like today, I really think about Mr. Booch too and I haven't seen him around my channel for a couple months. So. All right, you guys, have a wonderful day. I love you. Thank you so much for letting me share this with you. All right, take care. Bye.